Is summer your favorite time of year? Why or why not? I live in a country that has mostly hot weather and a very short winter. So despite having delicious fruits during the summer and the opportunity to do many outdoor activities, I am afraid, summer is not my favorite time of the year. I enjoy the mild winter season more than summer because of the pleasant temperature that the winter season offers. During the summer, the temperature reaches as high as 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and the humidity makes the condition even worse. What do you do in summer when the weather's very hot? Why? I try to remain indoors during noontime on a hot summer day. The sun often shines mercilessly and makes people perspire a lot if they are exposed to direct sunlight. However, I go out in the evening time as the weather is mild then. Overall, I like to swim in the swimming pool, go out in a park or near a river and enjoy some ice cream or seasonal fruits during the hot summer season. I also try to drink plenty of water to remain hydrated. Do you go on holiday every summer? Why or why not? Yes, the holiday has become an integral part of the summer season for us. Since we get a long summer vacation, we tend to plan a tour and enjoy the time away from home. We have been doing this for more than seven years now in a row. Last summer, we spend our holidays in a town that is located near a large river and many hills. Did you enjoy the summer holidays when you were at school? Why or why not? The summer holidays in my childhood are some of the best days in my life. My parents used to take me to different places, mostly near a sea, lake, hill or river, during the summer vacations, and I could enjoy different activities there. The fact that I did not have to attend school and I could visit many new places and enjoy numerous activities made the summer vacations even more enjoyable during my school days. Part 2. Describe a luxury item you would like to own in the future. You should say. What item you would like to own. What this item looks like. Why you would like to own this item. And explain whether you think you will ever own this item. I think that it is only a natural desire in the hearts of many people that they want to own things that are beautiful, uncommon, and luxurious because it helps them define their characters and personalities. Needless to say, I have also wanted to own some of these luxurious items myself in the future, and a luxury bathtub happens to be just one of them. Now, this luxury item is such a thing that I can't just buy one and stick it somewhere inside my home or carry it with me wherever I go. Oh, talking about home, I don't even own one because the place, in which I usually live, is either rented or is owned by my parents. So, the idea of owning a luxury bathtub, even in the future, just might seem to be a bit far-fetched at this point. But, I am pretty sure that situation is going to change someday when I will have my own home and with it, I shall also have my luxury bathtub, an elegant-looking, crystal bathtub that is, made by some top-notch Italian company. And after setting this luxury item inside my bathroom, looking equally beautiful and elegant as well, I will definitely want to enjoy my bath as often as I can, until I get tired of it, while also enjoying some beautiful music and romantic light at the same time. Anyway, I want to own this luxury item, mainly because it looks so classy and elegant that it is sure to change the complexion of my entire bathroom to turn it, the bathroom, into a very special part of your lovely home. After all, to me, the more appealing your bathroom gets, the more livable your home becomes. I want to own this luxury item also because this is where I want to enjoy my very own quality time while taking my shower after a long and tiring day at work. After all, I don't think that anything rejuvenates us as much as taking a nice shower in a nice bathtub. Part 3. Discussion Topic, Expensive Items Which expensive items would many young people, in your country, like to buy? Most young boys in my country would like to purchase the latest smartphones, tabloid PC, gaming devices, motorbikes, cars, smartwatches and branded clothes. Girls, on the other hand, would like some of the electronic gadgets as boys do, and would also like to buy a lot of expensive pieces of jewelry and fashion items. Some really rich young would want to buy sports cars, apartments and sports gear. 
How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? I believe younger people mostly want to buy expensive items that they can either use or enjoy having, like electronic items, sports cars, and so on. Older people, due to their experience in life, would go for expensive items that have great future return potential like expensive properties, antique items, famous artworks, and so on. However, in many cases, both generations want the same types of expensive items like the latest cars. Do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves? It depends on so many factors including the social and economic conditions of the person. But broadly speaking, most people would buy expensive items for themselves every now and then, if they can afford them. But they would buy luxury items for friends on special occasions like on their wedding days or when they expect something in return. There could be some really broad-minded rich people who would not hesitate to buy luxury items for their friends as they would do for themselves, but the number of such people, I believe, is so small. Part 3. Discussion Topic, Rich People Question, How difficult is it to become very rich in today's world? I believe becoming wealthy, other than inheriting the fortune as a birthright, has become more complicated in this modern world than ever before except in one sector, the information technology sector. It has become harder primarily because the number of people in a country has reached a staggeringly high level while the global resource is limited. So to become very rich from a poor or middle-class family is like defying all odds. A capitalistic economy has made it even more difficult as it favors the rich to become even richer. I mentioned the IT sector because we have seen many IT entrepreneurs become super rich in a decade or so, and this number is increasing. However, the fierce competition in this sector is also unbelievable, and only a few among millions can make it. Do you agree that money does not necessarily bring happiness? I strongly believe that money cannot bring happiness, and there are plenty of examples when people in need of money are actually happy people. However, I also believe that money can often aid us to remove our worries that can bring unhappiness. So in this regard, a certain amount of money can help us become happy to some extent but we need to have other important aspects like a caring family, good friends, sound health and a positive mentality to be happy in life. In what ways might rich people use their money to help society? The resource distribution in the world often seems unfair as just a few percent of the super-rich own the majority of the global resources. When millions of people struggle to buy food and manage a place to live in, rich people definitely can do a lot to help society. They can share some of their fortunes to feed the poor and build hospitals, schools, and old homes to make society a better place. They can also create employment and offer some charity to poor people. Finally, they can use their money to ensure clean drinking water, road safety, and public infrastructure.